In an effort to curb emissions, this country is ramping up electricity generation for, from nuclear power plants. By the end of the decade, it's expected to account for more than one-third of the power mix here in Korea. And by 2036, the same goes for renewable energy. Nuclear plants and renewable energy could each account for more than one-third of total power generation in South Korea by 2036. On Thursday, the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy announced its 10th basic plan for long-term electricity supply and demand, which includes reforms to the country's electricity mix with the aim of achieving greater reductions of emissions. Under President Yoon Seok-yeol's pledge to make South Korea a nuclear reactor superpower, the aim is to raise the proportion of nuclear power to almost 35 percent of the country's total production capacity by 2036. In 2018, nuclear power accounted for about 23 percent. A third of capacity is also to come from renewable sources, a sharp increase from the 6 percent recorded in 2018. Hydrogen and ammonia will account for more than 7 percent. In the nearer term, the goal by 2030 is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from 2018 levels by 40 percent. By 2030, nuclear is expected to rise to more than 32 percent of the total. The ministry said to achieve the plan, construction at the Shinano nuclear power plant on reactors 3 and 4, having been stalled by political disagreements, is to be resumed in 2024. The plan also aims to increase renewable energy to more than 20 percent and the proportion of coal to be reduced to under 20 percent. The renewable energy mix currently concentrated on solar panels will expand more into wind power.